Whenever Huawei launches a new Nova device, it's always exciting as these devices are known to pack good specs at a really good price. Just like last year's Nova 5T and I'm sure you guys remember the good old Nova 3i from 2018. For 2020, we have the Huawei Nova 7i. Is this the mid-range smartphone to give this year? Let's find out. At first glance, the Nova 7i looks similar to the Nova 5T. It has a large screen with a hole punch for the selfie camera on the upper left and the earpiece by the top bezel. Found on the right side is the volume rocker and power button which also functions as the fingerprint scanner. On the left side is the SIM card slot with support for Huawei's NM cards in a hybrid setup. Up top, we have the secondary microphone and down at the bottom, we have the headphone jack, USB Type-C port, and the loudspeaker. Flipping to the back, we find the quad rear cameras in a protruding module encircled by a thin metal frame. The unit we have for review is the crushed green color. It exudes this glowing gradient effect which Huawei says is the result of a special manufacturing process that not only produces a unique glare effect but also improves scratch resistance. It looks like glass but feels like plastic in the hands. The frame is metallic though and feels solid. At 76 6.3 millimeters, it feels wide, almost the same as the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but can still be held comfortably. Although navigating the UI would still definitely require two hands. Overall build quality is good. Huawei didn't mention any special glass protection, but a plastic screen protector comes pre-installed. There's also a clear jelly case included in the package, which is nice. The Nova 7i sports a 6.4 inch LTPS display with a Full HD Plus resolution. The bezels are noticeable and not as thin as those found in flagship devices nowadays. It's also thicker at the chin, but not really distracting. Display quality is sharp with vibrant colors and is bright enough for usage outdoors in strong sunlight. Viewing angles are also pretty good. There's also the smart resolution feature that automatically lowers screen resolution to HD plus to save power. When it comes to audio, the single downer firing speaker is crisp and loud enough to fill a small room. Bass is lacking but the quality is good enough for some casual listening to your favorite music or videos. Now checking out the cameras, the Nova 7i sports a quad rear camera setup consisting of a 48 megapixel main, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Quality is good especially in bright conditions, images come up with plenty of details and punchy colors. In dim conditions, the camera can easily brighten up the image and retain color accuracy but details do tend to be softer. The night mode can shoot up to 8 second exposures but it's not really effective in really really dark environments. When shooting portraits, the Nova 7i does a good job separating the background from the subject but the quality of the blur tends to look artificial. When it comes to selfies, these are handled by a 16 megapixel camera. It also as portrait mode, night mode, and beauty effects. Quality is also good with sharp images and accurate colors, although we prefer the quality of the images with beauty effects on. As for video recording, the Nova 7i can shoot up to 1080p at 30fps. Quality is similar with the still images as you get sharp details and great dynamic range. You can also switch between the standard lens and ultra-wide lens while shooting, which is pretty good. Now checking out software, the Nova 7i runs on EMUI 10.0.1 based on Android 10. It's a clean interface that's pleasing to the eyes and is easy to navigate. Apps are housed in multiple home screens and has features like dark mode, optimizer, ride mode, digital balance, smart care, and its own theme store. As expected, this device doesn't have Google Mobile Services pre-installed so you won't see the core Google Apps. There is Huawei Mobile Services including its app gallery but you won't find popular apps here like Facebook, Twitter, Netflix, or Spotify. The best alternative to have is to download from third-party app stores. In this case, we used APK Pure. However, there's no guarantee that apps will work right away after installation. We were able to download some of the apps we needed including some from Google but Google Apps that required Google Play services like YouTube and Gmail will not run flat out. Some Huawei users though were able to sideload Google services and make all the apps work. This can be an issue to some who are heavily dependent on Google services and don't want to go through the hassle of sideloading. On the other hand, you can survive going for Huawei's built-in apps or alternative apps in the app gallery for your emails and calendars. Now checking out the internal hardware, the Nova 7i is powered by a high silicon Kirin 810 chipset with a Mali G52 GPU with GPU Turbo, 8GB of RAM and 1 28GB of internal storage. It's a powerful mid-range configuration that can handle most tasks you throw at it, including gaming. Apps launch fast, switching between apps is quick, and the fingerprint unlock is instantaneous. And it was able to produce high benchmark scores in high performance mode as you can see here. Now for battery, the Nova 7i comes with a large 4200mAh capacity, which can last a heavy user a whole day with some left for the night. 
The PC Mark battery test rates it at 16 hours and 42 minutes, while our video loop test yielded 17 hours and 45 minutes of playback, which are good results. Charging is really fast thanks to the 40 watt Huawei supercharger that can replenish the 7i's battery to 70% in just 30 minutes. A full charge is done in just under an hour. Having this feature at this price range is huge and is probably my favorite thing about the Nova 7i. Now to wrap this up, Huawei has definitely brought their mid-range Nova to the next level with the Nova 7i. It has a nice display, great performance, good cameras, and a large battery with impressive charging technology. The best part is that it's priced at 13,990 pesos, making it one of the best performing Android smartphones for under 15,000 in 2020. The only disadvantages we can see here are the NM card slot, which can be a problem for some who already have micro SD cards, and of course, the lack of Google Mobile services. For the latter reason, it can be remedied by using Huawei App Gallery or third party app stores, or by sideloading Google Play services through a special method. And if you think you can find your way around these cons, then the Nova 7i will serve you just fine. Now, what do you guys think about the Huawei Nova 7i? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you don't miss future uploads, and be sure to visit yukatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, and be sure to stay hydrated.